La 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 watch how I turn my whole country right. Deputy Director of the CIA, dual citizenship with Israel. Jew, who is in charge of the most powerful positions of our nation. Janet Yellen, Secretary of the Treasury, dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Merrick Garland, Attorney General, dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Alejandro America, Secretary of Homeland Security for our country. Dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Abel Hayes, Director of National Intelligence. Dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Hey, brother. Hope you have a blessed day. Keep on fighting, brother. Jeff Zayn's White House Chief of Staff, dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Four star Admiral Rachel Levine. U.S. Assistant Secretary of Health. U.S. Assistant Secretary of Health. Transgender can't figure out their gender, but they're the Secretary of Health for our country and a four-star admiral. Jew. And Tony Blinken, Secretary of the State. Dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Wendy Sherman, Deputy Secretary of the State. Dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Victoria Nolan, Secretary of Political Affairs, dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. David S. Cohen, Deputy Director of the CIA, dual citizenship with Israel. Jew. Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer Pritzker, transgender. Jew. Now we'll talk about who's behind abortion. Mr. Ballou. Help father the abortion pill, known for father of the abortion pill. Worldwide for his work on RU486 Microprepistone. Jew. Alan Guttmacher, president of, Planned, president of Planned Parenthood, vice president of the American Eugenics Society. Jew. Vanya Mendel, started Planned Parenthood with Margaret Sanger and our sister. Jew. Founding father of abortion movement, one of the founders of the pro abortion group NARA. Lawrence Slater. Jew. Henry Morton Goller, father of abortion in Canada, first doctor in North America to use vacuum aspiration, which means using a vacuum to suck up the poor baby fetuses from the mother. He's a Jew. Gregory Pinkett, father of the birth control pill, worked with Margaret Sanger and Abraham Stone to begin hormonal contraceptive research. Jew. Alvin Weisberg, operated an abortion clinic in California where 16,431 aborted fetuses were found in his shipping container on his property. Jew. Paul Elric, father of the overpopulation theory, says you're having too many babies, says you gotta start cutting back and having abortions. Wrote the population bomb in 1968. Jew. Now we'll go through and talk about who's taking the guns away. Who's taking your right to bear arms away. Senator Herbert Cole passed the Gun-Free Schools Act of 1990, the Gun-Free Schools Act of 1995, the Child Safety Locked Act of 1999. Herbert Cole's a Jew. Senator Barbara Boxer, American Handgun Standards Act of 1999, the Firearm Licensing and Record of Sale Act of 2000, and 2001, she's a Jew. Congressman Emanuel Seller, Gun Control Act of 1968, Jew. Senator Howard Metzenbaugh, the Every Violation of Gun Control Act of 1968, helped pass the Plastic Guns Ban, helped pass the Specific Semi-Auto Rifles Ban, helped pass the Brady Bill and the Brady Bill too, which means you gotta wait for a certain amount of time before you have your right to bear arms. He's a Jew. Senator Dianne Feinstein, the Every Violation of the Gun Control Act of 1968, the Large Capacity Ammunition Magazine Import Ban, the Firearm Licensing and Record of Sale Act of 2000 and 2001. She's a Jew. Congressman Senator Chuck Schumer helped pass the Brady Handgun Protection Act, the Brady Bill 2, the Assault Weapons Provision, the Firearm Licensing and Record of Sale Act of 2000, End of 2001, Chuck Schumer is a Jew. Senator Frank Lautenberg, 
We all passed the Gun Free Schools Act of 1995, the Lautenberg Domestic Confiscation Provision, the Stop Gun Trafficking Act of 1999, the Gun Show Accountability Act of 1999, the Gun Industry Accountability Act of 1999. He's a Jew. Congressman Gerald Nagler, Protecting Our Kids Act. He's a Jew. Now we'll talk about who's behind COVID. Who's behind COVID? We'll talk about who's trying to get people to take the experimental jabs. CDC director, director of the Center for Disease Control, Rochelle Walensky, Jew. CDC deputy director, Ann Shuelchi, Jew. CDC chief of staff, Sherry Berger, Jew. CDC Chief Medical Officer, Mitchell Wolf, Jew. CDC Director in the Washington office, Jeff Rezik, Jew. COVID Czar Jeff Sates, Jew. COVID Senior Advisor Andy Slavin, Jew. Assistant Health Secretary for our country, but they can't even figure out their own gender because they're transgender, but they're in charge of health of our country, Rachel Levine, Jew. Head of Pfizer, Albert Berla, Jew. Pfizer Chief Scientist, Michael Dostin, Jew. Moderna Chief Scientist, Tall Zex, Jew. BlackRock CEO, Larry Fink, Jew. BlackRock President, Rob Capital, Jew. Chief Medical Officer of Johnson & Johnson, Jew. Chief Medical Officer of Merck, Michael Rosenbaum, Jew. Executive Chairman, World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, you either love him or you hate him. The head advisor working right there, best friends with the guy that says you'll own nothing one day and you'll love it, Mr. Yuval Harari, Jew. Now we'll go through and we'll talk about the every about the Federal Reserve. Who's been operating the chair and vice chair of our Federal Reserve? William Hardy, second chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Paul Warburg, second vice chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Eugene Meyer, fifth chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Eugene Robert Black, sixth chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Arthur Birch, tenth chair of our Federal Reserve. Jew. Paul Walker, twelfth chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Alan Greenspan, thirteenth chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Ben Barnegie, fourteenth chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Alan Blinder, 15th Vice Chair of our Federal Reserve. Jew. Janet Yellen, 15th Chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Alice Mitchell Ripley, 16th Vice Chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Donald Cole, 18th Vice Chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. Stanley Fester, 20th Vice Chair of the Federal Reserve. Jew. What's up, brother? G. Uh well, you can find some more else in this public space. I gotta, cor- I gotta expose the corrupt government. I tried to warn you before I started. He but- it's the Jew guy. Dude, have I a blessed day. I love you. I love you too, brother. Now let's talk about 9/11. Who's behind 9/11? Well, have you heard of Lucky Larry? Larry Silverstein, a Jew, purchased the twin towers a few months before the terrorist attack. Happened to put an insurance policy for a few hundred million dollars. What did he collect a couple months later? Four and a half.